Hey everybody, how's it going? Good to see you. All right, or oh, hear me. All right, I'm Coach G, former international rugby player, currently a professional scrum coach in France. And wow, I have missed this podcasting and looking forward to get back into it. Audio, video, I know I don't have a great face for it, but that doesn't really matter. But I won't be taking on this journey alone. You all know who I am, but I would like to introduce you to my co-host on this new show, which doesn't have a name at all. And the whole idea of this is having fun, but we'll get into that a bit later. But let me welcome my good friend in. My man, Ben, good to see you, brother. How are you doing? Hey, hey G, good to see you too, man. How's it going? Now, nah, awesome stuff, awesome stuff, man. And I'm super stoked. I'm super excited that you've decided to join this journey. Uh, like we mentioned, we're going to have a lot of fun some yeah, good chats too. but before we get stuck into that um you just give a brief introduction uh to the audience who you are what you've done in the past and uh obviously i'm a big fan of you we've come a long way and uh, really you. looking forward to this yeah thanks G. It's good to be here um yeah uh like yourself a former rugby player um i uh, i'm originally from england although i had uh, a few years playing in different parts of the world including south africa um and in the last few years, you know, for quite a long time, I've been a coach and super passionate about coaching, about helping people, about helping them fulfill their potential. And um, we have a lot in common in that area. So um, I guess, um, yeah, there's a lot of common ground and, and, and we'll get onto that tonight, I guess. Now, awesome, awesome. Um, but before we, Ben, you know, I think uh, one thing I just want to touch base on before we get stuck into this conversation, uh, mm. you really recently you took on something quite amazing, if I'm not mistaken, you know, something to do with water. Could you maybe just uh, touch base <laughs> on that? Uh, I, wonder, yeah, I wonder where you were going to go there, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, last year I, I, I was fortunate enough to swim the channel with a bunch of other guys in the end, a relay. And it was last October, and um, I did it for an organization called Head for Change um, with a bunch of other former rugby players. Um, and uh, it was an incredible experience. We set out, one, one of the guys, for example, couldn't swim at the beginning of the journey in January. And um, we set out to swim the channel, and uh, we managed to do it. It, it was incredible. And um, it reminded me of so many life lessons that I've learned and some I've forgotten along the way, you know, things that you and you would probably take for granted now because of your daily interactions in your workplace, which is in a, mm -hmm. in a top elite club. But that shared purpose, that shared goal, that single-minded vision and the teamwork and all that type of stuff, you know, it came all flooding back, which was a great experience. So, yeah, it was good. It took me out of my comfort zone. I hadn't swam <laughs> to that degree ever and not since I was yeah. a kid, you know. So it was good. Now, firstly, well done. It's a great course. We're definitely going to be deep diving into that uh, soon. We don't want to give too many gems away right now, Ben. Um, but uh, yeah, really looking forward to that conversation. I think, Ben, uh, you know, podcasting is something which I've uh, missed quite a bit. And uh, I remember back in the day, we used to do those clubhouse rooms. You remember that? It feels like ages ago. <laughs> I used to love those clubhouse rooms, that application. I don't even know if it's still going. But, uh, you know, I used to love that just to interact with you and we, we realized we share similar beliefs. We are completely different, but um, we are passionate about very similar topics. And, uh, yeah. you know, and it's just great. Uh, but, but podcasting, I've missed it. I think the biggest thing that I missed about podcasting is uh, the conversations, the chats, the learnings, learning from people. And um, I, I'm just super excited that I won't be doing this alone now. You know, we'll be having some fun together. And uh, for those, those of you listening to this right now, we're starting this. This is episode one. <laughs> and why are we recording this? Because we want you to be part of this journey. We want to share our experiences with you guys and also to help us, to guide us, to build something together. So this is ground zero. So I'm super excited about that. But Ben, I think, why the hell did you decide to join me on this journey? Because as you told Mate. me, it's out of your comfort zone, man. Mate, you know what? I love this. And do you know what? I love the fact we haven't even got a name yet. I, honestly, I love the fact that we haven't got a name yet. And I love the fact that, you know, if you hit, if you read any of these self-help type of books or you go on Instagram for more than an hour, uh, you, you'll you see people say, look, it doesn't have to be perfect to start. Just start. And then once you start, there'll be a momentum. People will come on board. The vision will clar – you'll get clarity on the vision. 
um, similar minded people will come alongside you. Um, you. You might think, actually, we're really good at this, but actually we're, but we're not very good at that. And that falls away. And and I think people, you know, they don't want polish. They, they want authenticity. And you and me, we're just here sitting in our places. You're in France. I'm in London. We're both love coaching we're both passionate about sport we're both passionate about helping people fulfill their potential about using sport as a tool to do that and if we can take people along a journey with us and we learn as well at the same time and uh, they learn and we all share and, and it's exciting and fun like you said i don't, I don't want to you know it can't be boring long-winded stuffy then then that's amazing that's that's why I'm, I'm keen to do this you know and just embark and, and just grow you know yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's brilliant, uh, Ben, because I think one of the big reasons uh, we do podcast, we listen to podcasts, is actually to learn, you know, acquire knowledge. Uh, even though both of us we are very experienced in different fields, and uh, you have massive experience in the world of rugby, but also in the corporate space, and <laughs> I'm going to be picking your brain on that a bit later. But um, I think for those of you who are listening right now, the biggest reason why Ben and myself decided to start on this journey. Um, is to to share our knowledge, our experience, things we have learned. We're not perfect, all right? I've made loads of mistakes as a rugby player, as a coach. I'm learning every single day. You know, we're all big fans of the saying of Nelson Mandela, we don't lose, we learn, you know? And that's the main, and it's about empowering you guys with knowledge and with tools to perform better, in the rugby world, wherever you are, obviously our audience, we haven't even defined our audience yet. <laughs> are we in the rugby world? Everybody, we don't know. We have no idea yet. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. But like um, Ben just said, it's, it's about having fun. It's about just enjoying the conversation and just seeing where that goes. Is, is there anything you want to add on that? Is there anything else? Ben? Yeah, and, and, and I think, gee, Will, you're like you said, and, and you're really good at picking people up, your, your posts and the people that follow you on Instagram. Some will follow you because you, you, you know, you know you're an amazing forwards coach, an amazing scrum coach, an amazing rugby coach. But others will love just seeing you train and your positivity and, your, and they'll, they'll take inspiration and be motivated by that because you're really authentic in how you share your journey. You're like, I'm not perfect, but I'm running again. You know, or I'm, I'm playing paddle and I'm not the best player in the world, but I want to be the best version of myself, you know. And anybody coming along here will go, these are two guys, two clowns sitting in their rooms. This isn't perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. You know, why not? You know, or they can take some sort of inspiration or they hear different, you know, stories from our guests who go, wow, I didn't realize that person went through that hardship. They, you know, they've, they've really overcome Um uh, they they show so much resilience in what they're doing, um, in how they behave. They conduct themselves so well. I would, I'd love to just have an idea of what they do, and and if we can inspire and and likewise be inspired and encouraged by by people, then I think you know that's partly what life is about, isn't it? I love meeting people. You know, you talked about Clubhouse. It was amazing because it was a time where we couldn't really interact with people, but it gave us an, an opportunity to connect with people around the world, you know, and suddenly have amazing conversations and and really learn and experience new things. So, yeah, I'm, that's I'm, I'm excited, as you can tell. No, it's, it's funny talking about battle, and I think uh, I will share the story. I have shared it a bit on social media, Ben, and and you know I me, mean? like um, we all use social media for different reasons. I use it mainly to try and inspire, put out tools, and obviously there are also my mentorship programs from time to time, which I have promoted in the past as well, but which I don't do a lot because of my main job right now is coaching rugby, coaching the scrum in top 14 um, so don't have a lot of free time, but you know the podcasting something differently that I missed. But coming back to that pedal story, uh, and you know this, you, you host yourself when you listen to it. But I think to the audience, the listening. So, as a rugby player, retired rugby player, sometimes it can be tough. Uh, we go through these ups and downs, and I've been very fortunate. I'm still involved in the world of rugby coaching. I still get that smell of the grass on game day, I get that game day vibe. I still got that locker room feeling, you know, I'm fortunate, I'm very privileged. I must, I know a lot of players miss that when they're done. But one, and all rugby players are different. The thing that missed, what I miss the most is that competitive edge, that sense of competition. And I discovered this game of paddle, or I not discovered, I started to play it. 
And Ben, I got stuck into it. I really enjoyed it. The competitive edge came through. And this is one game we were playing the games. I played with this youngster uh, at five in La Rochelle. And we played against another team or another group. And they were way better than us. But we knew that. But we wanted to improve our skill set. We wanted to take a step up. And I was playing the game of my life. And as I stepped away to get that bounce or the ribbon, like we say in French, I just felt something snap in my foot. And I thought I broke my foot, honestly. I was gutted. Only later to do MRI and scan and everything. And I ruptured a small tendon in my foot. Um, C'est le tendon fibulaire, like you say in French. But but and it took me back to the days when I was still a rugby player. And actually, funny story, that was one of my first injuries since being retired. <laughs> I retired in 2007. But it took me back to the day when I was still a rugby player. When I was injured, going through those tough times, the dark space I was in, you know, looking back at it now, if I go back ages ago, 2006, it's what, 18 years ago, I picked up 20 kgs. I was going through a dark time in my life. I didn't have tools. I didn't have access to people. I just spoke to um, a young rugby player tonight, which I'm mentoring in the US, um, Ben, and he didn't speak to me the last two weeks. So I said to him, hey, brother, what's up? And he just said to me, coach, you know what? I wasn't in a good space. I didn't speak to anyone. You know, And I said, brother, times have changed. We can now voice what we are feeling. We can share what we are showing. Vulnerability is not a sign of weakness. So, But yeah, I just wanted to touch base on yeah, that. I don't good. know if there's anything that you can relate to there, Ben. Yeah, 100%. I, I think when we stagnate and we stay still, you know, that's when times can be a bit tough and 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 i i really love the feeling of learning and growing and putting myself out of my comfort zone um it's not it's naturally not easy for anybody i don't think but i like the the feeling of the experience of, of, of putting myself outside my comfort zone knowing that i will ultimately benefit from doing it you know somebody for, for, for some people it might be public speaking you know and and or or learning a language or learning a, a guitar or an instrument or something like that you know and and I think, and then giving yourself a target of, of maybe playing, you know, a gig or something like that, you know, and I just think uh, there's so much, that's what life is about, you know, and when you're talking about paddle, I, I, I can relate to that, you know, taking, you, you know, just, just putting yourself out of that comfort zone. I, I love it. Yeah. And um, you suddenly get flashbacks, don't you, of like of memories of like, you know, <laughs> something takes you back to when you were playing or, or something like that. So, no, that's great, mate. I, I love it. Uh, awesome, awesome. So tell me, um, Ben, just, uh, just in general, how's your week been going, man? And what have you been up to this week? Yeah, great week so far. If I've lost track of time. It's been a bit crazy. On Monday, I was um, – so I, I'm really fortunate. I still coach on the side part-time. Um, so end of next week, I'm flying to Dubai quickly, and then I'm going on to South Africa. I'm going to be with the Bulls uh, from the, in a couple of weeks' time, helping the junior section of the Bulls, your old team. Um, and coaching some of the coaches and coaching some of the players and doing some of that type of stuff. And and um, they've had, the senior team are having a good season. Jake White's the head coach there, so that's incredible. So I've been doing quite a lot of prep for that. Um, on Monday, I was uh, filming for a podcast that I was uh, a guest on in London. And that, you oh, know, awesome. the backdrop, yeah, it was incredible. The backdrop was Buckingham Palace, and we were just walking around trying to weave in amongst the tourists. But it was it was cool. Um, I was doing it with a guy I know who's been a really successful investor and a businessman and he's got his own podcast. So he was interviewing me and we were talking about, you know, strategies of, you know, what, what I've learned over, you know, transitioning from the sports world to the corporate space and all that type of stuff and how I've sort of overcome some setbacks in my life. And then, uh, and then yesterday I was presenting, I, I, because my corporate space and in that sector that I work into, I, I work in the FMCG world, fast moving consumer goods. So I do some brand building and I've had a lot of experience now in the last 10 years helping brands um, develop and uh, build a brand or establish a brand or, or go into a new market, especially in the Middle East. So uh, yesterday I was talking at a conference and, and giving sort of a keynote for the Food and Drink Exporters Association, the FDEA up in London, um, and talking about you know strategies and the current climate in the middle east and, and how to 
transition and take your business there from from Europe. So, yeah, it's been pretty varied this week and, and pretty cool. Okay. Which I like I like I like that variety, you know. Um, so yeah, and then I actually like your foot story. And then today I was getting treatment because I'm I'm coming I'm I'm recovering from shoulder surgery 10, 12 weeks ago. Wow. And trying to get you know get over that and um, all that type of stuff. So you know, uh, yeah, it's been good. It's been a good week. What about you? Oh, man, uh, it's been a great week actually. Uh, you know, uh, lots of prep. We got a big one. Uh, you know, we just uh, we we had a draw on the weekend uh, against Toulouse, my yeah. former team. So that was quite good. Really proud of the boys. The boys did really well. So. You know, as coaches, you know, it's now our goal, next job. We always say the next job, the next job. That's the most important. So I've been um, I've been super focused on that. But uh, also been taking time for myself, you know, um, making sure I do a proper deload mentally. You know, we talk a lot about that in the, in the coaching world, actually, is that um, the amount of mental load we experience, not just as coaches, but I think everyday people at your job. And it's important to find that balance and sometimes you know i talk a lot about the momentum or the resilience mindset going hard and i'm pushing myself i believe in that but sometimes i go too crazy <laughs> and uh yeah. it's been a really great week boys have been working hard i've been enjoying the graft and especially uh you know with the younger boys the younger boys are grafting really well we got a last game coming up of the pool stages of the championship and uh, then it's into playoffs but I think the thing that I enjoyed the most was actually today. And and I, this is the first time I've actually and I've done I always talk about or telling players, you know, you got to focus, you got to have those focus blocks or those deep work blocks. And that's something which I normally do when I need to do analysis, in-depth analysis of teams where I can't have any distractions and today I said I'm just going to disconnect completely. And I actually went to the beach yeah, Chef de Bay in La Rochelle. And I just went there, went to cool down, had a stretch, went to the water. It wasn't that cold. It was fairly chilly, but not that cold. And just for two hours, I just chilled on the beach. I was reading a book, had my little notebook. I uh, didn't take my digital to one because I was scared I was, was going to get it wet. But I just read and I was writing. I was actually working at the stage on the beach, just brainstorming, you know, uh, ideas about this podcast where it's going to be going so it's been really great and i think something which i've stepped up quite a lot is um you know meal prep you know i've been putting effort in making food being prepared because i am busy um ben i'm my you know my priorities with my club that's first thing and then what any other time I free, then I can start going into these little projects and like the podcasting, which I love and which I'm really looking forward to get back into. But um, yeah, so far it's been a, a great, great week, week. Yeah. great week, great week. And, uh, you know, and you know, as well, you know, I've got my family in Toulouse and uh, I, I chat to my son today and he was super excited. He had some evaluations to do, which was great, was brilliant. So yeah, it's been a great week and uh, just looking forward to the week. <laughs> it's going to be a bit hectic. But, um, That's good, man. Yeah. Love that. That's brilliant. Yeah, you need those yeah. defrag moments. You know, you need to be able to just take space and sometimes just decalab. You know, recalibrate and and just you know just just see it from a different perspective as well, um, as well as just the R and R. Yeah, because you know what, what I'm thinking actually right now. You know, when I was a player, I don't know what you used to do in the off day, but I'm thinking about now. When I was a player on my off day, I used to love to go watch a movie. You know, obviously, mm. that was before I was married. And when I was married, you know, the off day, it's, <laughs> you have to do everything so that your missus can relax. But, uh, you know, I ask myself this question. What do rugby players do today, actually, just to disconnect completely, just to actually relax and recover? You know, do they actually do that? I know you speak to a lot of rugby players. I mean, maybe you can tell me back in the day, what did you do? Or what did you think was important just to switch off a bit? Yeah, I, I probably, I'm, I, I've never been the best at switching off, if I'm honest. Um, it's something I struggle with. I'm, I'm I, I, you know, what I outlined before, like the variety in my week this week is pretty much typical of me. And it would have been typical when I was playing. I was never a PlayStation type of guy, video game guy. I was always busy. Um, I had some sort of entrepreneurial ideas, things going on on the side, you know, um, when I was in SA, um, I started alongside a couple of mates, something called SARugby.com, which at the time was the most visited website on a weekly basis in South Africa. 
so I was always trying to do something that because I, I knew that rugby wasn't going to be everything, but also I to give me the focus that I wanted wanted in rugby. I, I needed the mental stimulation in other places. Um, but also, I mean, I'm I, I I was really bad in switching off because I was I used to say to myself the two words I'm scared of when I stop playing are what if, and I don't want to be able to say mm. what if I trained a bit harder. What if I hadn't. So on my day off, I'd invariably go to the pool and do, you know, or maybe do try and do a bit extra or, you know, just do some sort of active active recovery. Um, and um, I got a bit better. You know what it's like. As you get older, you get a bit more balanced and you learn what's good for you and what's not so good. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure about current players, you know. I think some have more interest outside the game now as well, which give them, mm. you know... Um, But yeah, it's an interesting one. Now, for sure. But uh, let's move on. And just for, for those of you listening, all right, this is a very unstru unstructured episode, all right? We didn't have anything planned in particular. Like we mentioned, we're sharing the journey with you guys. This is uh, Ground Zero, episode number one. And But I think what would be great, uh, Ben, is maybe to give some insights or a bit of a glimpse to our audience that are listening, for those of you guys are watching, um, what can they expect? You know, what type of topics, uh, what topics would you actually be like to be talking about? You know, um, I've got my my fair share, what I would like to chat, but maybe share with them, what would you be like, to, you like to be talking about? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm passionate about, I guess, people brand it performance or high performance and everything around that. And, you know, how to build successful strategies into your life that help you cope on a daily basis um regard regardless of what sector you work in regardless what you do you know um for example and it's a bit utopian because it's not always possible for me but one of the things i love to do and i think you're you're pretty similar i i i, I live in a nice part of southwest london i live near a couple of nice parks so if i can i love to get out first thing in the morning and set my day you know get the light in my eyes get out in nature early on um and 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 for example that type of routine so i guess for us as a as a pod I, i'd be great to speak to different people about what they do you know how they get by what what are ideas they have about successful strategies what they implement how they balance their time you know is it possible to have a work-life balance, you know, and be really successful? <laughs> um, you, you know, because people sometimes say, some you hear some entrepreneurs and they say, oh, it doesn't exist. Is it, is it, you know? And then, um, I don't know, it's a bit cliche sometimes. I'd love to know what, you know, um, what people have taken from the sporting world and 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 been able to use in, in other parts of their their lives and in business. Okay. I think that's, that's quite interesting. Um, what about yeah. you? Yeah, uh, I, I think uh, I like what you said there. Uh, I think, um, you know, we still, like we mentioned, we still haven't really fixed it down. Who was the audience we're going to be working with? But like you mentioned, there's so many parallels between the world of rugby and the corporate space. You know, it's going to be flowing into our discussions. I mean, it would be stupid not to benefit from your experience um, in the corporate space and the rugby world as well. And I was fortunate enough a few weeks ago to host the massive seminar in uh, Barcelona, two days working with the leadership group, you know, helping them with their strategies and uh, their OKRs. And it was just, it was brilliant. It was an unbelievable experience. But I think for myself, my side of things, what I would like to be getting out of this and sharing with our audiences like uh, – especially the rugby players, you know, what are the tools that they can solicit to perform? You know, how do they bounce back from poor performances? You know, how do I prepare for a game? How do I do make the right choice? You know, stuff like a, which agent should I be getting? Uh, okay. You know, mental wellness, you know, and but also like you mentioned, like goal setting, setting your vision. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we're going to see how this evolves. Like we, we, like we said, we haven't, cost anything to some i think as this develops and as we progress as hosts as well you know we will also figure out we will be focused on but in order to do that ben as well we'll be talking a bit of everything i think in the beginning and uh, and actually the audience decide so you know we need your help to to to, to grow the show develop the show so 
you know, whether this video is posted on YouTube or it's on the podcast, send us a, a, a comment. You can find me on Instagram, Ben, as well. We'll be putting our social media handles um, in the description section of the podcast on the YouTube video. But um, I think the whole, down to empowering, I, I wrote down, you said, you were three things you said, learning, growing, and getting out of your comfort zone. And I always make time to learn. And I'm going to tell you a funny story. Um, as coaches, we are spending time on the computers and we have to do presentations and we are typing. I'm one of those two-finger coaches. I'm like, my fingers are moving. So I actually started now every day doing 20 minutes of typing exercise. I found this online. Um, I just Googled it and I found it. And you have the actual keyboard on the screen helping you. And I'm re training myself how to type. I can type fairly fast, but it's that one finger, two fingers, but all Great. over the So I've been doing, so I like you're saying, learning and growing, all right? But, and I think what you just mentioned there is in order to grow, you have to get out of your comfort zone. Yeah. In, you you, you got to do that. It, it's so important. You got to, it's not about taking risk or chances. You just got to, you got to, if you want to evolve as a human being, you got to get in that comfort zone. You got to do something where you're uncomfortable yeah. because, um, yeah, I don't know. That's my two cents. I don't know what yeah, you think. Yeah, I love it. I love it. No, it's brilliant. I love that, that you're doing that. And it's, now, again, another example, like I said at the outset, of it not being perfect. You know, you, you talked, it's brilliant. Because as an example, you're not just, sometimes it's very difficult. You, you tune into stuff and you see a perfect person living a perfect life and they say, this is how I do something. And and um, they're physically blessed and everything like that. And you think, that's well, easy for them to say, you know, whereas you're talking about playing paddle from scratch mm. and trying to aspiring to be the, the best version of yourself. You're talking about learning how to type, you know, and being sort of open and honest about your ability, like when you started. Um, and... That's that, I think that's really interesting and really exciting. Um, and, you know, you and I both fundamentally, we both love helping people. And I think you, you put you touched on a really good point just now. There'll be some rugby rugby players. And I think you reminded me because we didn't necessarily specifically mention it, although a lot of what we've spoken about has been about mindset or mental application or mental mm. preparation, you know. But I think, you know, s &T, strength and conditioning, it is people are saturated with stuff to talk, people talking about that um, in terms of coaching technique. Yeah. There's some stuff out there, but obviously it's for the right people, there's more that can be done, but sometimes they, you know, that, they, that that's probably being left behind in many, many ways, but analysis and everything like that. There's a lot of people doing that, but not many people talk about mental application. Mm. And, and and I know because I know you, your your traits, your mental processes and how you prepare, for example, it's something you take for granted, but how you on a Sunday will prepare your week, both mentally and physically. You're doing your food prep. You're doing all these different things. You're mentally preparing. Right. What am I going to get out of the week? What does good look like for me this week? How can I, you know, come Friday or come the end of our match? What would I have? What do I need to have put in place for, for it to have been a good week? Um, who do I need to have spoken to? How do I address those people? How do I have certain one-on-ones? How do I help that guy this week? How can I be present in these meetings? Um, all these types of things, you know? And I think as a player, I was quite good at that. And it, if I, you know, and it was because of my physical limitations. And, and I, I reckon, you know, we didn't know each other when we were playing, but people will look at you and go, wow, yeah, G was a phenomenal player. He, he was a World Cup winning Springbok. You know, it's all physical. But I, 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 I can guarantee that probably what stood you apart was the physical stuff got you in the room and it got you in the conversation or it got you on the field. But the mental stuff of how you could repeat over a period of time, how you could be consistent in your application, how you could not just have one good scrum and then switch off mentally, but how you put the, the building blocks in place to be able to progress year on year and all that type of stuff. And I think people take that for granted or don't know where to go for that. They don't understand. And I, I had to put stuff in place so I could really define, you know, what, what am I good at? And therefore, how do I replicate doing that day on day, week on week, month on month, season on season? 
and what am I not so good at so that I focus on what I am good at, but really become as best as I can be at those things so that I'm picked for those things whilst at the same time developing the others, but knowing they're not my super, super strengths, you know? And I think yeah. that mental process, which I've taken into the business world, because I surround myself with people who are better than me at certain things. And I know where my strengths are, but I know where that guy's better than me. And I'm yeah. no problem. Every I'll say, I brought him in because operationally on the ground, he is better than me. And I've said that. I, and people <laughs> look at me at first, you know, they go, what? How can you admit publicly that someone's, I say, he's better than me. That's why, you know, and... And it's good to know. And so I think helping people in this journey of this pod with, with the mental application and when, whatever they do would be really, really cool. Um, and I, I'm certainly always learning from people. So I love that, you know. Wow, oh, sweet. Awesome. Uh, that That's brilliant. Uh, I mean, I think, um, you know, one of the biggest, it's, it's so true. I think there's so many learnings, um, you know, as rugby players and and. I, I actually, I, I learned this technique uh, recently called crash and burn. And it's just writing whatever comes into your mind, like a, a memory. And when you think of someone thing else, you go straight onto the next memory. And it was crazy. And, and I'll share this with you. Crash and burn could be is uh, I'm in a changing room at Loftus and I'm motivating the team, and inspiring them. And uh we're getting ready to run and listen to the Blue Bull song going on to Loftus. And then all of a sudden I'm thinking about Gary Butter. You know, we yearn to lose. We're eating croissants uh, and we're stuffing it up. And uh, then I get a memory again. Oh, you were shouting at me because we were neighbors. And he would say, hey, G, come over. Yeah, sure, fine. And then another memory pops up. Oh, uh, we made Boltong with Sean Sowerby and Don Heeman. And then I'm like, Don Heeman, I saw him in Bordeaux during the World Cup. What a man. Love these speeches in, uh, you know, chasing the sun. And you just write all this stuff, whatever comes in. And just now talking about that, I remember the Nyani Shimangi, my former uh, roommate. Uh, we used to play PlayStation together and Ricky January would come into our room. And then another memory bounces back. Ah, I saw Ricky January and Ajain, saw his family. It was great to see him. So crash and burn, it actually just allows you to pick up so many things which we've forgotten you know we were that's is, that's yeah hey that's i love that i've never done that before but i can always <laughs> carry your i can always carry yours on as soon as you said ricky january i was like do you remember that try that he scored against your oh 2008 against, house of pain i think it was a carrisbrook i think were you like that was house of then, pain house of pain i remember yeah carrisbrook yeah 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 so like yeah. yeah and then so i think of that and then i think uh, you know like uh, yeah it's funny hey how it, how it goes and then and actually i think where i was when i was you know and all that type of stuff so that's awesome no, for sure. And but but I think that that's the main thing. Just to the story I actually want to share is that you were talking about the mindset, the mental applications. I think that's important for rugby players. And I think that a lot of them don't always have the tools like um there's this high demands to perform. You know, the pressure to perform. And uh, you know, I've read a great book uh, a while back uh, by Kerry Evans, who was with the All Blacks, Perform Under Pressure. Talk yeah. about the blue brain, the red brain, which was great. We'll definitely be deep diving into those topics. But I think the biggest thing is, and that's what I shared the, today or yesterday on socials, and you just spoke about it, getting sun, you know, direct sunlight and stuff. But like, what do you do if you didn't sleep well? What do you do to pitch up the next day? You know, I shared those protocols with them by hydrating first. And I do cold exposure. I do a cold shower or ice pot if I have access to it. Exercise direct sunlight, you know, that's so important. You need to have a protocol to kickstart today. But yeah, just to, for those of you listening and you're watching, these are the type of things we'll be sharing, you know. Sometimes our episodes will be dedicated to rugby, performance in rugby, but sometimes it might not even be. I think the whole idea is, is about talking about topics uh, which we are passionate about, about, Ben. I think that's um, very important. And, uh, you know, we want to just have fun. And that's the key thing. Sometimes we'll have some serious chat. Sometimes we're going to have some laughs. But I think the audience, please, do not compare us to podcasts that have been existing for long and all these influences and the lighting, the mics. This is a cheap mic I bought on Amazon. You know, um, Ben doesn't even have a mic, but you'll get one some <laughs> stage. Who cares? We don't even care, all right? Uh, 
we're not going to be painting the walls and stuff like that, but we will evolve. We'll see how it goes. The main idea is just to have fun. But Ben, I think uh, this was good, man. Um, first chat, just to catch, just get some practice in, see how things have been going. Uh, ground great. zero, starting no, from scratch. Awesome. Uh, anything it's you would good, like to man. share with the audience, you know, before we sign off? Yeah, you know what? It's going to be, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And also, I can't wait to look back on these episodes these first episodes and cringe <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be like oh no <laughs> you know because then you see the journey and it's real you can go wow when we episode one or two you know we were it was it, mm. but i reckon there'll be stuff we love about it and other stuff we'll go what you know but i love the fact that we're going to be on that journey and then like we've like we've spoken about loads of times in this pod already that the thread will be that growth that personal growth the collective yeah. growth um, and we're sort of demonstrating almost as a case study what we're talking about. So, yeah, I'm excited, man, genuinely. Oh, awesome, awesome. I'll say as well. So this is where we need your help, guys. Please, if you know of any great people we can get on the show that is in the world of rugby, or the corporates, but anybody that can contribute to mental applications, resilience, um, transformation, performance, high performance, it would be great because um, – we are two former rugby players. We are passionate about the game. Rugby coaches. We want to share our knowledge. We want to share our experience and have great conversations. And in order to do that, we need some unbelievable guests. So we really will be asking your help to guide us and also to tell us what type of content should be producing for you guys. And please, as a reminder, this is not our main job. This is actually just a hobby that we're starting off now, right? Not even sure where this is going to be going. But as I mentioned to you before, and I mentioned this to Ben, I've missed podcasting. I missed the research. I missed the chats. And uh, just tonight, uh, just something which I'm, which I've written down, which written down, which is important. I think maybe I should just post this on YouTube anyway, without editing it anyway. Ben, you know, just get yeah, it out there. Be cool, man. And, be real, um, yeah. yeah. And uh, so the three words that stood out for me, which I wrote on, is learning growing and getting out of your comfort zone uh, you know and that's great because yeah. um, that's something which i focus on and you know i think that's something which i'm actually busy doing at the moment is trying to reflect how much have i grown have i stagnated have i evolved you know keeping myself on honest having those regular ch check-ins but uh i'm super excited um to get started on this journey and maybe if you guys we don't have a name for the show yet so this is the podcast podcast with no name so <laughs> if you guys can help us find that that would be great and Ben come on man we need to get started we need to find some direction yeah man when the name will come I think it will be a good name you know I'm um, yeah. sort of quietly concerned about putting it out to the audience to let them choose the name they might, they might okay. choose something that's a bit uh, no no all good <laughs> Yeah. All right. Think, okay. uh, you'll become more focused and narrowed down. We'll get a good name. Okay. Sweet. All right. So before we sign off, any um, message you would like to share with the audience before signing off? End of no. the week? Anything in particular? No. I mean, you've got a big game this weekend. Good luck with that, man. It's, uh, it's Thanks, exciting. man. I appreciate it. Um, I, I had an idea as you were talking just now, you know, talking about fun, talking about reminiscing, and you're talking about some of those Bulls legends like you, well, yourself and Gary and you know, I'm going to be at Loftus in a couple of weeks' time, you know, coaching there, which is surreal. I'm going to be going to your, basically, where your old stomping ground. So maybe we should do something from there, you know, um, when I'm ah, there. That'd be and, brilliant. Uh, that'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? You know, yeah. and that'd be a nice, yeah, so maybe show the people a, a bit of, like, Loftus or something like that, you know. I think we might have to interrupt the president's inauguration. I think maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's, there, there's a little a small matter of that in Pretoria. But, uh, yeah, something like that might be quite cool. And oh, yeah, but good luck this great. weekend, man. You, it's wrestling, ah, isn't it, this man. weekend? Yeah, we got wrestling this weekend. It's going to be a great game. Looking uh, forward to that. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be Beautiful. great. Uh, but I think I would like to sign up uh, with this message. And I think, and this just came from, uh, from Ben, you know, take the time to learn. All right. And in order to grow, get out of your comfort zone. I'm going to repeat that again. Take the time to learn. And in order to grow, get out of your comfort zone. End of the week. Maybe it wasn't a great week. That's okay. It doesn't have to be a perfect week. All you have to do is, is just be better the next week or the next day. Keep on moving forward. We want that forward motion. That's all. Keep it moving. Don't get stuck. And uh, that's it. We are done awesome. for our first episode. Ground zero. Get a touch there, brother. Boom. <laughs> awesome stuff. <laughs> all right, guys. So, yeah. 
we don't have an Instagram page yet. Uh, we have our Instagram handles. Reach us, eat us up, send us a DM, whatever. We all know where we are on social media, so that's fine. We'll get that sorted. And uh, Ben, thanks. First time on. Yeah, mate. Good. Awesome. All right. See you soon. All right. Awesome stuff. See you Ciao. guys. Cheers.